What's going on guys? Today in this video, I have five really quality filmmaking items that are gonna help the shooters out there who may find themselves on a budget. And even if you aren't on a budget, these things are just amazing quality to have. And I'm gonna give you a few reasons why you might wanna look into them. The best thing about these items though is that the majority of them are under $100. I broke the rules a little bit for a couple of the items, but save up the extra bucks, man. It'll be worth it. First item that we're gonna get into is gaffer's tape, man. And if you don't have this in your arsenal, man, you should definitely look into it, man. Gaffer's tape is amazing. A roll of this comes in anywhere from $16 to $50, depending on the amount and quality of the gaffer's tape that you plan on purchasing. But I'll leave a few links in the description for you guys to check out a few different options of gaffer's tape for you guys to, you know, pick one that fits within the budget that you're trying to be purchasing. Essentially what gaffer's tape is though, it's like duct tape for filmmakers. It's really strong and it's really reliable to tie down wires on set or, you know, just attach to pretty much anything that you're doing on set, but it doesn't leave that nasty sticky residue that duct tape leaves. So this is good for pretty much anything. Like you can tie this to wires, you can tie down wires on set. I even use this to mount quasar tubes to boom stands on set. So once you have a roll of this, man, you're gonna get so creative and uh, start doing things with it that you didn't even know you would be doing. The next item that we're gonna get into, man, is the Beast, man. The Canon 50mm f1.8 STM. Now, before I even get into this, I know that a lot of people don't use Canon. I know a lot of people are adapting to Sony. I know a lot of people are even adapting to Lumix nowadays, but the really amazing thing about purchasing Canon lenses is they're easily adaptable to pretty much any system that you're on. If you're on Sony, you can get an adapter to adapt this to it. And you know, if you're on Canon, this is gonna be a plus anyways. This Canon 50 millimeter is gonna hit you in the pocket for around 125. So it is a little bit over $100, but you can go for a used version of this. Or you could just save up 25 bucks, man. Just get on the ground, man. This is like an amazing lens for the price. I can't even stress this enough. A couple of amazing things about this lens is the aperture range that it goes down to. 1.8 is gonna allow you to get some really nice shallow depth of field shots. Also, it's gonna be fully equipped for you guys to go out and shoot a lot of good low light shots with it. I love this lens, man. It's super lightweight. It's not the best build, but uh, the quality and stuff that you get from this lens is amazing. Pretty much all of the test shots that you see within this video right now, the B-roll that is going over top of me talking, was shot with this lens in a Canon 60 Mark II. So don't sleep on this, man. For 125, it's an amazing lens. And I think if you shoot anything on Canon, you should have this lens. Like for the price, you really can't beat it. The next item is the Rode Video Micro. Now this little thing is amazing for the price point. Don't sleep on it because of the size of the price. This thing outputs amazing quality for the price point. A Rode Video Micro is gonna hit you in the pocket for around 60 bucks, but uh, like I said, it's amazing. Now a few key pluses about this purchase is it comes with a dead cat already in the packaging. So you're gonna be fully equipped to go out and shoot in the wind and not pick up those nasty wind sounds that typically come through the microphone when you don't have a dead cat on it. Another really, really dope thing about the Video Micro is is it's powered by your camera so you don't have to worry about turning it on when you're going to film you don't have to worry about turning it off when you're done filming it's automatically on it's automatically off and i think that that's a really 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 good plus for this microphone on top of that it's super small and uh it's portable man it's just an amazing microphone for the price if you guys are wondering how it sounds i'm going to switch from my boom microphone to the video micro right now so you guys can see this is me talking to you guys on the video micro so you can see how the audio sounds as you can see Sounds really good, especially for 60 bucks. You really can't beat it. It's just an amazing microphone for the price, man. It's just, you can't beat it. The next item that we're gonna get into is the tripod that I'm using right now, man. I've been using this tripod for a while. I'm not a really huge tripod enthusiast, so this thing right here does the job for me. The price point that it comes in at, as well as the build of it, is just amazing. This is the V3AH tripod by 3Pod, and uh, this thing comes in at only 80 bucks. And one really dope thing about it is it has an adjustable bowl within it. So it's easy for you to level your camera while you're out shooting. You don't have to go through and adjust every single leg to get it level. You can just loosen the bowl, get it to where it needs to be. Get to shooting, man. It's a really fast process. Another really dope thing about it is it's a fluid head. So 
you know, you really can't beat a fluid head at this price point. Now, this thing does have its flaws as with all of these other items that I'm going to be talking about today. And I think the biggest flaw about this tripod in itself is you just kind of have to work in the pan motion on it. It doesn't come as smooth as it should, but after a few uses, man, it gets to a pretty smooth state. All in all, this is an amazing tripod though for the price, you really can't beat it. I've been using this for a while, so 80 bucks, amazing purchase. The last and final essential item that you guys are gonna wanna pick up for under 100 bucks is a variable ND filter. Now, the variable ND filter is kinda an exception as well because depending on the size that you plan on getting, it could cost you a little bit more than 100 bucks, but regardless, man, save up those extra dollars. It's going to be totally worth it in the end. I personally use Tiffin variable ND filters, so I'm going to leave those in the description. And like I said, depending on the filter thread size that you need, it might cost you a little bit more. So a Tiffin variable ND filter can hit you in the pocket for anywhere from 95 all the way up to $135, depending on the filter size that you're going to need for. I use 77. 77 comes in at around 120 bucks, I believe. Like I said, I'm going to leave links in the description for these though. Now, if you guys don't know what ND filters are, they're essentially just sunglasses for your lens. Pretty much all they are. When you find yourself out on a sunny, bright day and you want to get some depth of fill to your lens, you're gonna need an ND filter, man. ND filters are vital, crucial items to the filmmaking process, definitely. You can see the shot right here is clearly underexposed because I'm trying to get some depth of fill within it. Put the ND filter right over it. It just cleans it right up, man. And one really, really, really cool thing about variable ND filters that I personally love is all you have to do is twist them to adjust the intensity to get the exposure to your shot perfect. So that right there alone is like, wow, I love variable ND filters. But regardless, man, if you're in the filmmaking process, you're going to need some sort of ND filter at one point or another. Before I wrap this video up, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away a few of these items that I purchased to create this video. One of which being the Canon 50mm f1.8 and the second being the Rode Video Micro. Now, if you guys are interested in winning one of these two items, all you have to do to enter is to go to my little profile name, click that little bell and turn on my notifications on YouTube. Just drop a comment below. It can be literally anything that you wanna say about this video. If you loved it, tell me you loved it. If you hated it, tell me you hate it. Also, just include your Instagram at so you know I have a way to contact you if you do so happen to win. A week from today, I'm just gonna randomly go through my YouTube comments and uh, you know reach out to the winners of the two items. So best of luck to you guys if you wanna win these. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop me a like, comment. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace out.